working with the text. So further, Emilia Alexandrovna writes that one day around midnight, with her eyes closed, she clearly saw two white cords stretching from her chest to her son's grave, to the hole that had formed in it. Then she seemed to put the cords towards herself, ex um, experiencing heaviness. And all this lasted for a few seconds. So from the further description, of, uh, it follows that Rusanova's son was buried at the Vostrykovsky Cemetery in Moscow, and the vision of his grave was at the level of, of the window of her apartment located on the seventh floor. The two cores described above characterize the transitional stage. So the first core uh, uh, arose when the mother gave birth to a child. And this is the structure of her son's birth. So the second chord is the structure of possible prolongation and uh, 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 continuation of his consciousness or his essence. I already said above that after the biological death of a person, two options are possible. Either birth in another child, uh, uh, as another child, uh, therefore the implementation of reincarnation or resurrection, and therefore the recreation of the same body, and not only the recreation of former matter, uh, uh, but, but also any structures of consciousness. So in this case, due to external control, the resurrection option was carried out. <coughs> The appearance of two connecting cores and the perception of the sun's grave and the at the um and the 
apartment located on the seventh floor at the same level means the connection of the structures of the sun's consciousness and the external environment. So in practice of resurrection, there is a rather peculiar moment that characterizes the attachment of the body to the structure, to the place where this body is located after biological death. That is the place where the body is placed in the uh, is the place where it is attached to. So the primary attachment is within a, a radius of about two meters from the physical body. So the entire reference uh, area exists within approximately uh, 50 meters and radius from the grave. And then there is a uh, access to the information frame of the outside world. So the knowledge uh, of the binding and related issues is important for the resurrection procedure. Because the reverse transition through biological death actually means a transition through the structure of attachment. And the resurrected person himself naturally must be focused on getting out of this binding. So, by the way, uh, if the description of the vision given by Emilia Alexandrovna is interpreted from this point of view, then we can say that she saw the shape of the grave as an option for, for tying a biological body to a fixed place. So the following is the text in the statement of Rusanova uh, is based on the information she has received from uh, Kozlova. So the description of further events can be taken from 
both of them. From the from the text, it turns out that after Emilia Alexandrovna turned to me with the request to resurrect her son and share this information with her son's ex-wife Kozlova, Kozlova began to meet people on the in the streets of Kaliningrad and Moscow who looked like her ex-husband Rusanov. <laughs> And then when she saw, uh, when she was traveling by the Yanta train from Moscow to Baltic Kaliningrad, she met a man who had all the signs of Rusanov already close right in, in, the, in her apart compartment. If you read Kozlova's description of this meeting, you may get the impression that she behaved quite passively. But imagine that you yourself are traveling on the train and in the carriage compartment, you suddenly meet a person who is exactly like your relative, whom you buried several months ago. Moreover, this person does not pay any attention to you. And what do you think you would do? You would come up to him and say, hi, uh, don't you recognize me? Or perhaps you would freeze in an amazement, speechless, and would not be able to take a single step because your legs would suddenly become weak. <laughs> and although Tatiana Ivanovna does not write about her feelings, during this meeting, one can imagine that a uh, 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 whirlwind of the most diverse feelings gripped her. And surprise and uh, embarrassment and also confusion. And suddenly the awareness of the real accomplishment of the resurrection in spite of everything. Despite of everything, because at the present, the resurrection is still perceived by many as a miracle. Despite everything, because at present the resurrection is still perceived by many as a miracle, because there are still people who do not truly understand 
that in reality resurrection is a standard procedure. And that soon resurrection will be perceived naturally and will become the norm of life. But for now, a person who suddenly sees a, uh, a, a died relative uh, in a train compartment next to him cannot come to any conclusion because he does not in immediately accept a possible miracle uh, or fears that he might do something wrong. So when reading the statement, one must take into account the state of the persons in such a situation. So this book precisely gives a person uh, to realize um, uh, the, the true realities and allows you to understand how to behave in such circumstances. At the first meeting with the resurrected person, it is necessary, important, necessarily important to start a conversation with him and offer him help. So let's return to Rusanova's story. So we start with the place where uh, she says that Kozlova began to meet people similar to Rusanov in the streets. And then uh, a trip from Moscow to Kaliningrad, she met a man who had all the signs of Rosanna already close right in her apartment. And in connection with this story, it should be said that those who have left, uh, or in this case, it's better to say those who are returning, perceive very well the condition of those people to whom they return to. And they can, under no circumstances, uh, become the subject uh, uh, of, of these people, uh, to, to put these people into unnecessary stress. Therefore, at first, Rusan began to appear at some distance from his ex-wife, gradually leading her to accept the possibility of the return, especially since Kozlova already knew that the resurrection process was underway.
Therefore, when she saw, uh, when she writes that she uh, observed people similar to her ex-husband, she actually saw the true resurrected Rusanna. It can be explained here that the resurrected people behave carefully and with such understanding because the elements of resurrection were transferred to their consciousness. It can be explained, uh, and due to that fact that um, these elements were transferred to them, they have a different mental structure of perception of reality. For example, they believe that this is confirmed by their personal experience that life is eternal. They also have a special relationship with the laws of the macrocosmos. Many laws are absolutely precise for them, and they never cross them. They also know about the existence of 50-meter reference. And when returning to the physical level, they stay for some time behind this 50 meters distance from people whom uh, they are returning to. After the first stage of contact in which the returnee, returnee is perceived at the level of sensation, there is a transition to the second stage, the visualization stage, on which the resurrected person begins to enter into closer contacts with the living. So we see that Rusanov appears in close proximity to his ex-wife in the train compartment. And we see we see that Rusanov appears in a close proximity. Um, uh, to his ex-wife, and also please note that the, the resurrection resurrected people demonstrate mastery of control techniques, in this case, control of the situation. This technique is given to the resurrected person upon his resurrection. And as a result, 
he can independently find and even create situations necessary to establish contact with the uh, people who he knew and who knew him and to whom he returns. And about the impression that her son made on his ex-wife in the carriage compartment, Emilia Alexandrovna writes the following. Similar in appearance, manners, behavior, gestures, gaze, but somehow detached loss. He rode with a man who seemed to accompany him, drove him, but never once called him by name. So here, in the action of resurrected one, we see another element of knowledge. And uh, precisely here, uh, if, if the, the the precisely here, his understanding of the condition of the person who knew him. If he appeared alone, his wife's concentration on him could be so high that it would make it difficult for him to adapt smoothly and could change the envisaged development of events. Therefore, an element of is introduced into the situation that particularly uh, uh, distracts Kozlova's attention. Uh, a person accompanying the resurrected person appeared. And... Uh, Moreover, this second person does not necessarily have to be a real person in the usual sense. In fact, it can only be uh, of a uh, visual nature. But now, in this book, I will leave these technical details aside for now. Earlier, I spoke about the existence of a primary attachment within a, a radius of about two meters from the physical body. So partial or significant concentration on the second person when considering these events from the point of view of uh, the subtle plane corresponds to uh, the coping uh, 
decoupling from the primary zone, that is from the zone of the grave itself, a transition of this zone to the accompanying person. So um, I know that uh, this may not necessarily be a person. It could just be an object, for example, a car in which the resurrected person is riding or something else. So here the important principle is the principle of decoupling the resurrected from the primary zone. Further, the fact that the accompanying person in the presence of Kozlova never calls Rusanov by name uh, talks about that in that situation, this could lead to a state of shock in Kozlova and as a consequence of this, to the destruction of some cells. But I have already said that resurrection, resurrected person has a good sense of situation and the state of person in front of him. He went through uh, deeper stages of destructuring and then structuring consciousness. Therefore, moving forward, uh, he acts very, very carefully. So here, what can be uh, paid attention to is the uh, fundamental point that uh, uh, can be noted in Emilia's statement. And after the above sentence, she writes, Kozlova was surprised when my son Rusanov, uh, Rusanova is not talking about a person who looked like her son. She says, when my son. Here you can see that after Kozlova's stories about meeting her son in the training, train compartment, Rusanova completely identified the resurrected person with her son who had previously been dead and now appeared alive. So here you can see that Kozlova's stories about her son in uh, the train compartment, uh, Kozlova completely identified the resurrected person with her son who had previously been dead and now appeared alive. And note that later uh, this was finally confirmed and the story described ended happily.
it should be emphasized that spiritual identification is the main criterion, criterion for the fact that the resurrection of a particular person has occurred. And the next phrase uh, in the statement, uh, when I saw the money, uh, a thousand of the new type, I exp uh, he expressed obvious ignorance of this money. So when could the ordinary living person react in a similar way? When he would be, for example, abroad at the time of introduction of new money, then he would have expressed surprise in the same way when faced with a new reality. Rostanov, during the period of introduction of new money, was in the confined space of, of his grave, and his consciousness, which was located near the physical body, was limited to the framework of this space. From this, it is clear that the consciousness of the departed, that is, of those who have experienced biological death, this consciousness is physically and practically the same as the consciousness of those who, have, who are in the state that is usually called life. That's why they have the same reaction to the same situation. Uh, from the above presentation, one should not conclude that the described resurrection scheme is standard. Uh, for this time, it is indeed quite typical in connection with the current perception of the resurrection phenomena uh, by the society. In fact, it reflects the real laws of resurrection. In reality, everything here largely depends on the degree of uh, pre preparedness of those living for the return of their loved ones and acquaintances. The entire resurrection process may take a short time. And in the near future, when at least some part of society understands that 
the resurrection process is a normal standard procedure, resurrection will occur quickly due to the readiness of society to accept this phenomenon. I selected the evidence of resurrections in such a way that the scheme of resurrections uh, would allow one to learn how to resurrect through a generalized analysis of the facts. So in the, um, the second chapter, uh, we, uh, the, we also talk about the possibility of almost instantaneous resurrection. But for this, resurrector must have a very high level of spiritual development. 